Cat. It's Maximus here. This time doing a review of the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh uh, full price $13 steel brake pad thickness gauge set. To tell you the truth, the plastic Lyle brand is all, they're both made in Taiwan. The Lyle brand is plastic, but they're much more useful. And that's really the issue, the issue with these is these seem to be the very same as like gear wrench and so many other brands where it's just this permanently riveted together uh, set of brake pad thickness gauges. Obviously red means too th thin and they need to be replaced. Yellow means they're getting down there. Green means you still have some brake pad thickness left. The idea, and particularly with this steel style, is the fact that you need to get alongside the rotor or you need to get on top of the brake caliper some way to be able to slide it down in between the backing plate of the brake pad itself and the disc rotor. And then if you can slide this down right into that little gap, whatever size that you can get in there tells you how much space you have. And so they're kind of like those basic tire tread depth gauge issues or sets, excuse me. The issues, I should say, it's just a huge oversight here. The fact that the plastic ones are plastic, so they're just a little bit more forgiving. Although if you are in an auto shop, you may have vehicles come in with hot brakes. Obviously, the plastic isn't going to be the best choice in that particular situation, but not such a big deal. What is a bigger deal is the fact that these have the ends are squared. So, for instance, on the 6 millimeter one here, this is 6 millimeters tall. And then this little edge, this little block here, is 6 millimeters long. That way, you can actually reach in through like the hole in the wheel and most cars have alloy wheels and even steel wheels if you get the hole in the steel wheel in just the right place you'll be able to push this in through the hole and get right under the edge of the brake uh brake pad and the backing plate and be able to measure your thickness and so these are going to be a whole heck of a lot more useful than this style which can't be used when the <laughs> they could be used but only with real specific Alloy wheels have enough space for you to take these things. Since they're all attached, you know, something like this, you grab the size that you need and all the rest of them just dangle away. And so you can get this in however you want. You can even detach it from the chain. Just use it one gauge at a time. The problem with these, of course, is the fact that they're all put together. So if you need to use uh, the six millimeter one, you have to take these, rotate them around, get the six millimeter in there, and then it becomes just this huge old tool. Um, which is very difficult to use in a lot of situations. And that's really the biggest criticism. I don't know why they wouldn't have done something like this, where they would have, if they just would have put a little notch in there, and that should be a project for future videos, modifying these to have the little notches like the Lyle set does. And so that's really my verdict. Is these Pittsburghs, they're the same, the same as the Gear Wrench and all the other brands of the steel ones. Is for some reason, they maybe they thought they'd be too thin, but you know, this is already pretty thin and easy to bend. So who knows why they didn't put the little notches in them, such as like this, once again, this Lyle set, the plastic set does, because that would massively increase its versatility. But as it stands, I mean, the tool works, but it's a, not very useful. Unless you have really open wheels where you can reach your arm into. And you have to do it from the front because the back of the disc rotor has a dust protection cover around it. And you won't be able to get these in at all. So you have to do it through the front side of the wheel. And the big issue is unless you have alloys with huge gaps that you can reach your hands around into. You're going to have to remove the wheel from the vehicle to be able to use these gauges. Where on most vehicles you'll be able to find a way to use these to double check that pad thickness without removing the wheels and uh that's actually uh, pretty big that's a huge oversight of these steel ones is not having that little extra notch anyway i really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do till next time caddis maximus out